are here. I'm so excited to be sharing this gem with you guys. It is the Tiny Truths Illustrated Bible. This was sent to me to review and I wasn't too sure about it. I was like, okay, we'll see, we'll see. But I have to, I have nothing but great things to say about this. You guys knew that I love the, um, I think it was the Frolic Children's Bible. No, no chocolate chips. No, that's not a snack, that's candy. So anyway, I wanna show you guys the illustration because I think for my family, that is a very big deal. Um, we believe in some sense of historical accuracy in depictions. And so you do see the women with their head wraps on, different styles, of course. You see men with their beards and you see their complexion is darker, um, which would have been historically accurate <laughs> for that time and those people. Um, I think that this, this children's Bible actually does a really good job of hitting the high points that like you kind of really want to like drive the point home to your kids. Um, a lot of, a lot of Bibles do that maybe with like Jesus and like the new Testament, but not so much in the, um, first covenant or the old Testament. Sorry, I'm a mom. So I'm obviously opening snacks and doing all that sort of thing right now. Um, I do like the way that they present, um, the fall, um, and like they don't shy away from like Adam and Eve were hiding and it's, did you eat the fruit I told you not to eat? God asked. Yes, said Adam. It was Eve's fault. It's the snake's fault, said Eve. Like a lot of children's Bibles I've noticed kind of shy away from like how they played the blame game. But I think that that's something that's super important. Um, and of course they always drive home the fact that even after Adam and Eve um, sinned and the fall happened, that God's love never changed. And I, I don't know, I think that that's really important for young kids to be learning and picking up on in the beginning. Um, as you guys heard the story that I just read the kids, this is Lent season. It's also the season where those who are celebrating Passover are starting to like talk to their kids about all the events leading up to Passover, um, Pesach or Pashka even. And um, I like that in the beginning of what we read today, it said, all of the city of Jerusalem, God's people were preparing for an important feast called Passover. And so I have so, I've seen in just like churches and Sunday school things and whatever, so many children's Bibles that will say that God's people were preparing for Easter. And to me, that's confusing because like that wouldn't have even been a thing at that point. Um, so I like that this one does highlight that it is Passover. It stays true to the actual biblical text. Um, and again, I like the illustrations. If you look closer, you guys can see like their, their faces are animated to the, like it's showing the emotion. It's like they're mean guys. They're doing something bad. And so it helps the children to understand like, even though one of Jesus' disciples was helping these people, that doesn't mean it was a good thing because kids tend to be more innocent and tend not to like pick up on the nuance of certain, certain, um, like what's really going on there. So I like that as well. Um, all in all, I am just really pleased. I am pleased with this. This will probably move into being our uh, main like children specific text. I think for our kids, um, just because I really, I just really enjoy the way that they went about going through this Bible. Um, they do go into Saul and his ministry, becoming Paul, and then it ends, they do wrap it up with Revelation. So the last little story in here, can you guys see that? Let me get out of the way. There you go, okay is the kingdom of heaven and it's based on probably like revelation 21 maybe um so i don't know i i really enjoy that and then it ends with a in the meantime and if you guys can see it's still got a woman who's still head covering um you've got a little girl or maybe that's a woman but i'm gonna go with that little girl who's not she's got cute little pigtails and to me if this is just Historically accurate, it's positive imaging for my black-brown children. 
and it shows like the differences within the body of Christ that not everyone's going to be looking the same, dressing the same. This one here has got a turban on, this guy here does not. Um, so I don't know, to me those things are all very important when I'm teaching my kids about, um, just about Christ and about his walk on this earth. Um, for those people who, let's see, the New Testament, yeah. So let me continue to look. I'm trying to see, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So yeah, okay, so something else that's important to me that I have noticed that some um, Bible illustrators don't tend to do is depict Abraham, Avraham Avinu, and Sarah, Sarah Avinu, um, our mother, as old. Like, we were reading this story, and Ava, my oldest daughter, goes, they're like grandparents. Can Gigi, can, can Gigi have kids? Like, and my parents aren't great yet, but like she understands like they're old, like they're grandparents. And she now can understand the miracle that it was for people who are about 100 years old to be sitting here having babies. Like that's, that's not normal. And so I love that they depicted um, Abraham and Sarah as old people because that is what they were. So, I don't know. I just, I really love that. And I think everyone should go buy this if you have children who are about preschool aged. It's really good for babies through about, uh, depending on where your kid is, like maybe six or seven years old. And then after that point, like we would probably just use like an older version um, for older children. Or just, you know, the... is everything okay? Please don't scream. Or like an actual, um, Bible. So anyway, go get this. The link is below. We do have a giveaway going on. The company is doing a giveaway. So I will leave the link below for the giveaway for you guys to enter the giveaway. I will also leave the link below for the Amazon purchase if you guys want to buy this. Um, I don't get anything if you guys if you guys buy it or if you don't buy it. Um, it's not one of those type of deals. But Truthfully, truthfully, I do encourage you guys to pick this up. It is, the publisher is Zondervan, Zonder Kids. So yeah, also something I wanted to note, the author of this grew up in Nigeria and England. She's white, but she grew up in Nigeria and England, so I think she's like a third culture kid, which I think is actually pretty interesting, and I think influenced maybe the illustration being a bit more accurate. So again, support good work, and follow those links 